In this video, we're gonna have a shaverage and do an unboxing. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another shaverage and unboxing. I'm your host, CDB, and I thank you so much for joining me today. So, we start with the shaverage as always, and today it's just a plain J Yingling light, nice, easy drinking, cold, cold beer. And every time I drink one of these like this, DK cries a little bit. I'm sorry, DK, I apologize, but I love me some good affordable cold beer. I like it cold. I'm sorry. It's just, you like whatever you like. It is what it is. Here's to all you wonderful people. Okay. Official cheap unboxing knife. Spyderco, Spyderco uh, bird. It's kind of like the Spyderco Delica, uh, which I like and own, but I use this one for unboxing. So we start with the package that has been in the mail since Thursday. Uh, it was in the mail about 10 or 11 days just from Chicago to get he from Chicago to here, which I pr could probably drive in six or seven hours. Uh, and for some reason, it's taken a very long time to get here. <laughs> and so this is from uh, Ray Pope, who is a friend. Many of you have heard of Ray Pope, and uh, it is a straight razor. Uh, nice guy, friend. We've known each other for a long time. Generous guy. So this is a a blade he picked up. This is a Tory razor company. Oh, he's got it tight too. And he's got his edge on here. So I look forward to tr trying uh, this this edge that Ray has put on this razor. And he told me, hey, if you don't like it, give it away, use it. Well, I like it because uh, I love Barber's Notch razors. Barber's Notch razors are my favorite design. I don't know why, I just really like them. And so Ray, thank you very much. I really appreciate this. I look forward to trying your edge. And if I don't like your edge, I'll rehone it, but I expect I will like it. And I'll probably rehone it anyway, just cause I need to hone. But anyway, thank you so much. Again, this is a Tory uh, razor. So thank you very much, Ray, I appreciate it. Next, we have a box from PAA, and I don't know what this is because it was sent to me by PAA. So let's just open it and see what it is. Okay, there okay. we go. Alexa, stop. I don't know why Alexa gets triggered a lot during these videos. Okay, so let's see what we have. First, we have, like I said, PAA always puts these cool like postcard type things in here. Monsteroso. Uh, and their stuff is always extremely well packaged. Professionally, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> ooh. Check that out. I'm gonna beat Junior to the punch, I think. I'm going to beat Junior, the dude of shaving, who's the number one fan of Clown Fruit, but I'm gonna out Clown Fruit Junior. Look at that label. Oh, I love that. Clown Fruit, and it's got a cube on there. So let's smell it. I already know what it smells like, or at least what the old local gent version smells like. Oh yeah. The way I would describe this to me, it kind of reminds me of uh, root beer candy a little bit. You know those like barrel root beer candy? Really, really nice. Oh man, this is fantastic. <laughs> I'm really happy to get this. And I love that label. I know some people don't like clowns. It looks like my clock is about to stop back there. Huh? Weird. Anyway, some people don't like um, clowns, but I love this clown fruit. It is awesome. Thank you, Douglas. We will try this. And again, this was sent to me by... Oh, check this out. There's also some candy in here. It looks like candy corn and just various candies. That's a nice... PAA does this kind of thing that, that's awesome. And look, a clown nose. And I bet you all would like for me to put this on so you can Photoshop it. But no, I'm not going to do it. Maybe I will. Anyway, I'm not... <laughs> well, that's awesome. And also there's... What I guess is a splash, so let's open it up, why not? We may as well. This is pretty awesome, I must say, and I apologize for the light in here. The sun, it kind of right now, it's getting to that period where it doesn't stay out, so it gets a little darker. Um, well, well packaged. PAA stuff is always well packaged. That's one thing you can count on for a fact. That is super cool. Thank you very much, uh, PAA. Okay, so let's check this out. And here, 
is the splash as well. And we might as well open this up and give it a whiff. Always give it a little shake. Sealed. Um, PAA, PAA is one of the few companies that seal their aftershave, which is a really nice touch. I think some people do, but not everyone. And sometimes that seal's a little difficult to get off, but that's why we have a knife to deal with these matters efficiently. Anyway, I've got enough off of it. That smells, that smells a little more spicy, a little herbaceous relative to the soap. So I think this is going to smell even better than the soap. And I really love the soap scent. So, man, this changed my whole shave for tomorrow because I already had something planned for tomorrow. Uh, and now this has changed it. So <laughs> clown fruit is going to go to the front. Uh, that will probably air on Wednesday, though, because I have already recorded one video for uh, recorded a video for uh, Tuesday, although I could actually just move position. We'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But wow, I'm really excited about that. Thank you so much. It's great to actually get the modern version of Clown Fruit. And our next package comes from Colonel Conk, who also reached out to me on uh, Instagram and said, hey, we've, we heard you talking about Colonel Conk or we saw you use it earlier in the year. Would you be willing to try some of our other stuff? And I said, as long as I can speak uh, openly and honestly about it, like it, hate it, whatever. And they're like, sure, we want you to. So let us open this up and see what Colonel Conk has sent to us. I used the almond Colonel Conk, I think, I don't know, three or four months ago. And it worked just fine. It's not expensive. It gets the job done. And I'm a fan of things like that. So it's got some packing peanuts in here. And there is, first of all, there's a Colonel Conk pen. And again, I'm a fan of these extra little things in packages. I just think it makes the customer feel nice. And inside are some Colonel Conk soaps. So this one we have, um, this is natural woodsy scent, amber. So let's give it a whiff, why not? I don't get a ton of scent off this one. What I do get is pleasant. So we'll have to lather this one up. This is a natural woodsy scent, so we will definitely check that out. Oh, this one I know I'm gonna like, Zesty Clean Lime Soap. Um, oh, excuse me, this one is actually amber. I said natural woody scent, it's amber. This one, lime shaving soap. I know I will like this one, I love lime. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is just a nice lime scent. Um, there's nothing special in terms of scent. But I like lime. I look forward to using this. I am not one of those people that that uh, turn up my nose at soaps like this that are relatively simple. Um, I love using this kind of stuff. Here is Bay Rum. Really, really awesome. Yeah, and that's a nice... This one is the strongest to my nose uh, scented of the three. But we have lime, Bay Rum, and Amber. So we will look forward to using these. And maybe we'll cut a piece off of some of it and maybe send this out um, for some other folks to try. You know, sometimes I just like to spread the love and, and give other people a chance to try these things. I'm fortunate in that sometimes these companies send things and allow me to evaluate them. And, and it, quite frankly, is a risk to the company because sometimes I don't like things. But fortunately, most of this stuff now is uh, pretty good. The soaps are of good quality. And I expect this stuff to be great. I'm super excited about trying the Clown Fruit and the Colonel Conk and Ray's Edge. I mean, this is just a, that calls for another drink, does it not? Just nice, easy drinking lager, which I like lagers. I don't know about you, but I do. Yeah, my clock stopped during the shave. I don't know what that is supposed to mean, but it is what it is. Want to say cheers to everybody out there. Junior. Well, let me find it. Junior, here you go, buddy. I'm already one step ahead of you. Clown fruit, Junior. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody, for joining me. I really appreciate it. I can't thank you enough. Thanks to PAA, Colonel Conk, and, of course, Ray Pope. But most importantly, thanks to you. Thanks so much. I've been your host, CDB, and I'm reminding you, joy shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.